Good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Evora Bentley. I am a faith coach, empowering others to change their minds so that they may change their world around them. I am one who is also helping to instill vision so that others may see the power in their mission. If this is your first time, welcome to this channel. Um, if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hello, hello to all of my new subscribers. Um, my only desire for this channel is that um, you would receive clarity, confirmation from Yahweh, and more importantly, that you will be that He will be lifted up and you'll be drawn unto Him to get to know Him even greater, His love, and that He truly is your Abba Father. So I do have a prophetic word of encouragement this morning. And the scripture, let me pray first, and then we'll get into that. Father, we just thank you so much for who you are. Um, you truly are our Father, our Abba, and we love you, and we thank you so much, God. I thank you, Lord, that this message will bring love, like healing, restoration, Lord, Father, and even just clarity and identity, Lord, God. I thank you, Father, that whoever this message is for, they will know that you have not forgotten them, nor have you forsaken them, Lord, God, that they are yours, Lord. I Thank you that you will allow this message to be the very thing that they needed to be provided for them. And in Jesus' name, amen. So um, the scripture today comes from Psalm 68. It says, a father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy nation. And so I wrote this scripture. I don't know if you can see all of it, which is Psalm 68, 5. But God really, really wanted this message to go to the part that says, a father of the fatherless. A father of the fatherless. I am playing um, What Love Is This by Carrie Job. I'll link um, that I'm playing the instrumental part, and I'll link that and also the song itself. Because in this message, the father really wants you to receive that the, the love and healing that he has um, available for you so again a father of the fatherless and so a couple of years ago I wrote a story and in the story God gave me this writing called a father the fatherless daughter and so this morning his heart is heavy for his daughters, but you know, if the Lord may use this as well for any gentleman, he will do the same. We put no limits on Yahweh. So I'm going to read that and also the words that the Lord gave me to say. So it all goes in with the prophetic word of encouragement. The fatherless daughter. I've never been so terrified to do something in my life. A little overwhelmed and fear of the unknown was trying to set in. I'm preparing to open my heart and letting him in. The one I never trusted. Someone who has hurt me for so many years. And I don't think they even realize it. I've been angry, bitter, and hurt years after years after years. I've faked showing love for so long and now it's, n now it's no more of that. I'm opening my heart to love and to love for real this time. The man I expected to love me the most. A man I wanted to count on being there always. The man that I saw put himself before his own children. One of the reasons for having sex with different men was to fill this void of his missing love. Falling for men just like him, thinking they would love me, so therefore I no longer needed his. For some reason, I continued to long for his love. Those other men couldn't fulfill his like I thought. Not realizing the disrespect, I was giving my body. I didn't have a care in the world. I found out later, no one but God could replace everything that I wanted to make my problem solver. No longer will I hear the negative thoughts that ran through my mind to keep me in bondage of fear. The thoughts wanted to feed the little girl within. It's time for her to heal from what happened back then. I'm opening my heart with faith, with God on my side, being my God. My dream came true. I could genuinely say, I love you, Daddy, and I know you love me too. Signed, no longer a fatherless daughter. Although the father gave me this writing a story about a young lady with abandonment and a rejection issues who really longed for it from her natural father, 
the father is saying that there are some of you who because of the fact that you have the hurt and pain that you did not receive from your natural father is the reason why you're struggling and self-sabotaging some things to have the relationship that he desires for you to have with him um <laughs> He also wanted me to share this. If you see right here over my eye, this mark, this is my birthmark, right? So the inter interesting story about the birthmark is that when my mother was pregnant with me, my biological father got into a fight, right? And he got cut on that same exact eye, and that was his mark, like this. His cleared up and went away, but when I was born, it was my birthmark. So something that the Father shared with me, and I just really encourage you to get in your private time so that he can give you the words of healing that you need to know that you are chosen and his daughter. But the Lord spoke to me and said, even though you received that mark from what happened to your biological father, it represents that I've marked you. I have chosen you. You are mine. So the Father wants you to know that he has chosen you. You are his daughter. And he even gave me some words, even for women who are already married. And the father says that you've even seen some of the ways that you, you've acted toward your husband and that you've condemned yourself saying you're a bad wife. And the Lord says, come out of agreement with that lie that the enemy wants you to believe. You are not a bad wife. You just need some healing in your life. And it's healing from those the hurt and longing that you receive from your father. The father, your biological father, the father is saying to receive in your heart today the healing to have forgiveness for him, to let go of that unforgiveness. Just know that, you know, your father gave you, your biological father gave you what he had and that the fact that he hurt you, it had nothing to do with you. It was all about whatever healing and hurt that he needed within. But God says he needs for you to release this because he wants you to truly receive the love that he has from you being his daughter. And just like the song says, what love is this? This is how he wants to overwhelm you. So Father, I just thank you so much for this word. I thank you for this right time word, even for women who are preparing for their mates in this season, Father. I thank you for bringing restoration, Lord God, so that their um, husbands will not receive the, 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 the the treatment from their fears and insecurities of them thinking that he won't treat them right. And I thank you for bringing healing and restoration to that wife and to her marriage, Father, letting her know it's not over, that you are a healer. You are the giver of life. In Jesus' name, amen. Daughters, the Lord love you. I love you. Be encouraged. Open your arms to receive the love and healing that is waiting for you. Have an amazing day on purpose.